Welcome YouTube, this is Quad Talk. Today's subject is battery straps for micro quads. A lot of the standard battery straps you get for like the Aurora 90 and Aurora 100 come with these things. Very very thin, this is brand new out of a packet. It doesn't even stick to itself, it's not even worth attempting. So in the search for the perfect battery strap I've gone through everything you can possibly imagine. Um, firstly this is a QX90 this takes a little 1S600. For this I've got 3D printed clips but they degrade over time and um, fatigue. The best thing for me is just loom bands hundreds of these for a real small amount of money uh, easily attached and there's not really anywhere to put a velcro strap or anywhere on this so just simplicity and ease use elastic bands on those okay we've addressed the one you get with the Aurora and a lot of others it would probably do to begin with it tied you over don't worry about it, it's rubbish. These are just a larger version. Uh, they're alright in some applications. You could cut it down, but it's pretty much identical to this. So we'll ignore that. Emacs Baby Hawk. It's quite a nice strap. It's small. It's not rubberized in any way. However, It's barely large enough to fit around a frame this size. Um, for a baby hawk, yeah, it's alright, but for this with 2S, it's not sufficient enough, sadly. So, that's the Emacs baby hawk one. These are full sized, just run of the mill, normal battery straps. Um, you get banged ones, anyone, you, you get these anywhere. Obviously, they're too large. I think these are 20 centimeters, I believe. Yeah, 20 centimeters, there are thereabouts. They're too big. You might be able to modify them, they're still too bulky. Moving on, these are getting towards ideal. These are run cam. Um, I think you buy five in a pack for three dollars or something. These are 20 millimeters, uh, 200 millimeters as well, if I remember right. Oh, just over. Again, towards 24. However, the first success. These are really nicely rubberized, by the way. The first success I had was modifying one. You can unpick the stitch in here, pull this down to shorten the cable, uh, or the strap, rather. I did some uh, masculine stitching. It's not pretty, but it works. Uh, and then just taped it up with some wing tape just to stop it fraying and so forth. This is borderline the right size now. Um, it goes around the frame and it'll grip the battery. However, it's still not perfect. It's a little bit too long still, so it could need a little bit of refinement. However, it's getting there. I'll just get some measurements off that quickly. I think we're about 18 centimetres on that now. So we're getting close to it with this. Next up, I remembered I had some of these with my Runcam 3. They are a lot more suitable size-wise. They're not rubberized though. And I think they're about the same size as the custom one. There or thereabouts. Um, they will retain the battery quite nicely. Um, but you just have to sort of 
put the hook and loop together and then at the end you just have to sort of gather it up a bit so it doesn't uh, flap about in the breeze. It's usable, it's still not there though. So moving on. This is the strange sort of Velcro. It doesn't have any uh, like claspy bit on it uh, that you feed it through and back on itself. But as you say, this has the um, hooky bit and this is the loop or the loop and the hook. It's, I think they call it uh, fixation magic straps. Um, but as you can see, it's very versatile in lengthwise and it is quite a str strong hook and loop. That's an okay strap if you're going to cut it down. It's it's feasible. Um, however, you know it's not a, a real battery strap, is it? Um, it might do in the interim if you need one. These are, I believe, out of like the King Kong things. They're just like rubberized bands. Um, They are quite stretchy, quite rubbery, but rubber does break down after a while and obviously you need to take um, your motors off or some of your frame to feed this on. Um, it will do a good job in retaining your battery but it's finicky. If it snaps out in the field you're done if you haven't got a replacement on all your tools. So with that I think we rule that out. I arrived, it took me a while to get hold of them, but these are RJX Hobby, um, I can't I think they call them like the bulletproof material straps. Um, here we go. They are 15mm by 150mm. Uh, nicely stitched down. They're almost like a vulcanised rubber on here. Uh, they're not as grippy rubberised as the, say, run cam or um, one of the others, like this, definitely not as grippy as that for example, but they are on par with the run of the mill rubberized straps. So with that, let's just feed this through and you'll see just how viable that this strap is. There you go, look. For a 2S, pull it taunt, and you've got no excess, minimal, not too flat, and uh, durable. Um, so, with that, that's the RJX ones. I'll link them all in the description, or the half decent ones. Um, but when you compare it to something like this, um, or say just the standard ones you can see what you need to get at for a viable micro. I hope this has given you a bit of insight into the best way of retaining the battery on your micro. That's my experience trying to keep my batteries on especially these brushless. Thank you very much for watching. Hope your batteries stay on. <laughs>